Hello guys, it's James from Moments to Life. So today we are going to talk about five actual steps to work out your wedding day timeline. Everybody expects to have a smooth and perfect wedding day, but the question is how can we achieve that? Here, I would like to share my experience as a photographer and how to run a smooth wedding day. Step 1 is to get a good idea about wedding day timeline. To start with, it is crucial to check out a genetic wedding day timeline to give yourself some ideas on how the day runs for most other brides. You can always find it on the internet and also check out our Mailman's Live websites to get some ideas. If the timeline doesn't suit you, don't worry. Now we have to go through it step by step and you should have more ideas on how to plan your own wedding timeline. Step 2 is to confirm when your wedding ceremony starts. Your wedding day ceremony is the first thing to be set up when you compose a wedding day timeline. Melbourne is a city with multi-culture and open spirit. The brides from different communities have their own preference to organize the wedding. There are different types of wedding ceremonies I have experienced. The first one is the traditional indoor wedding ceremony in the church. For this type of ceremony, you have the flexibility to organize your wedding ceremony between 12 pm to 4 pm without any issue of weather or a light change. Second one is the outdoor wedding ceremony in the garden. An outdoor wedding ceremony is another choice if you prefer more natural view and also unique decorations. To consider lighting changes, 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. is actually the best time for the ceremony. If you get married in the summer, please set the time in the shade and water station is also preferable for your guests. When you choose a winter wedding, try to push the ceremony time a bit earlier as it gets dark early in Melbourne during winter. Natural lighting is essential for your wedding photographer to create the image perfectly suit your style. The third one is an early wedding ceremony in the morning. In some cultures, the bride and groom prefer to have another earlier wedding ceremony in the morning to celebrate their traditional and cultural way. When you organize it before the civil wedding ceremony, the only thing you need to worry about is you need to wake up really early. So as your wedding makeup artist and hairstylist need a bit of time to let you get ready in front of your friends and families. Step 3 is to think about when and how long is your preparation time before the ceremony. The bride and groom normally get prepared separately, whether you prefer your wedding photographer to cover the getting ready part to make a consistent story or not, the timeline for this part won't change too much. For a comprehensive photography coverage, we normally spend one hour at the groom's place, and then we go to the bride for 1.5 hours as the bride needs more time to, for makeup and changing their courses. The makeup artist and hairstylist should make all the girls ready for the photos before the photographer arrives, so that there will be enough time for the photographer to take as many as photos as possible for you and your bridesmaids. Secondly, when you have the both photographer and videographer coming to shoot your preparations, extend 20 to 30 minutes extra shooting time to avoid a morning rush. They both need a bit of time to discuss the capturing process between them. Also, if you stay a bit far away from your partner's getting ready place, it's good to consider hiring a second photographer and videographer to capture the preparation separately. Also, wedding of some communities, dancing, drumming and other cultural celebrations earlier before the ceremony are essentials. And the preparation time on each side may need to extend it to 2 to 3 hours. Step 4. Confirm your timeline after the wedding day ceremony before the reception introductions. This step is all about your wedding day photography. Below is my schedule as a wedding day photographer. After the ceremony, you can always start muggling with your guests. Allow 10 to 20 minutes to let your family and friends say congratulations. Then we start with group photos and family photos. Most wedding photographers could cover this part around 30 minutes, then we can do photo shoots at nearby locations. If it is the same locations as the ceremony took place, 
and one hour should be enough. But if you would like to take photos elsewhere, then you will need to reserve more time. Normally, I suggest one hour for one location. And I would suggest three location shot is the maximum we can have on a wedding day. Because you should leave some time to prepare for your reception introductions. Step 5. Choose a schedule for your reception depends on the culture and the bride's own preference. The timeline at the reception could be very versatile, like organizing a cocktail celebration, a formal sit-down banquet, or a dancing and drumming night. And if you would like to have some sunset photos at receptions, please make arrangement with the reception managers in advance. The best time for sunset photos is half an hour before sunset. So you have to reserve the time for it and please remember that sunset time will be different during summer and winter. For reception in weddings, the actual timeline gets changed from wedding to wedding. You can definitely create your own unique schedules. First, we are going to start with reception introduction. Depending on the culture, this part is quite versatile. A typical introduction for the parents, the bridal parties, and brides and groom is around 5 to 10 minutes. However, for some aerobic weddings I have captured, the celebration of the bride entrance could be as long as one hour. Then we are all served with the entrance, subject to how long your guest lives. 20 to 30 minutes is typical. And then we are followed by the mains, which go going to take around 13 to 45 minutes. After that, we are into the speech for around 20 minutes to one hour. Depends how many guests are speaking. After the speech, we get into something more interesting, which is the cat kicking and also the first dance. This would be typically take around 10 to 20 minutes. And also sometimes there will be a father and daughter dance. When the party time comes, you don't want to disturb your guests too much, so just give one to two hours in the dancing pool to let you and your guests celebrate and enjoy. For some special lavish weddings, the traditional dancing could last three to four hours in the middle of the night. At last, the reception is finished with the banquet toast or the gutter removal game. This will typically take around five to ten minutes. Lastly, for the farewell, it may take 15 to 30 minutes to organize the farewell. People may stand in a circle and say goodbye with you or make a tunnel to let you one out with your loved ones. As some reception venues help to organize a sparkling farewell to make the day more memorable for you. So to conclude, it seems a lot of work on a wedding day timetable. Therefore, to make things simple and easy to work on, actually we have developed a wedding day schedule calculator for couples to plan their uh, wedding date, so which will be more easier for them. This calculator is divided into two parts. The first part is in white colors, which is for you to input details of your wedding date so that you can automatically calculate the timeline for you, which will be shown on the gray area at the bottom. As we have discussed before, the most important thing is to confirm your celebrate ceremony time and also the reception starting time. So in this calculator, you have to input the official ceremony starting time first and the reception starting time. After you confirm those two times, now we'll have to think about the traveling time between the getting ready places and the ceremony locations. For normal getting ready shots, photographer and the videographers will head to the groom's place first and then the bride's place. So we also need to input the traveling time from grooms to bride and also the traveling time from the bride to the ceremony locations. The last thing you have to input is the wedding ceremony lasting time. Depends on where you will get married, the ceremony time will be a bit different as well. For a C4 wedding ceremony held by a seven sibling, the whole ceremony time is expected to around 30 minutes. And if it's held in a church, a 45 minute to one hour is needed for the whole ceremonies. So after we input all the things that the system need, then you will have a full wedding timeline ready for you in the gray area. First, you will see groom getting ready starting time and also the bride getting starting time. And this time is actually for you to, to remember you that uh, you should be prepared and ready for the uh, getting ready photos. And then also we will see a time about 
the guests and groom arrival time for ceremony and also group photo and family photo starting time. Actually, this is a reference for the guests to know what time they have to arrive and also prepare themselves for groups and family photos. Last one is the reception starting time, which is a guideline time for you to arrange all the formalities like couple introductions, speech, cut kicking, and also first dance. So, all right, I think this is pretty much all of it for the wedding date uh, timeline guide for you. But if you have any problem planning a wedding day or organizing your location suit, please don't hesitate to contact us. This is James from Moments to Life. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Thank you.